how did my life get to the point where I'm talking about Shakespeare while I wear a shark on my head? Hello all, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names where each week we look into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we look into the first name of Jessica. And yes, because we hit that goal of $600 a month before the end of August on Patreon, you guys get your reward, I am wearing a silly hat, the joke's on you, I love sharks. And yes, I know I probably have it on the wrong way around, I just wanted it this way around to show you all its magnificence. <laughs> anyway, let's go on with today's name of Jessica. Now this is obviously a girl's name, and it's popularly shortened to just Jessie, or even just Jess. There's also a name of Jessie, which is spelled J-E-S-S-E, which is actually more traditionally seen as a boy's name, like we see with Jessie Pinkman on Breaking Bad. There's tons of spelling variations with Jessica, but just to name a few examples, there's Jessica with a K instead of a C, and Jessica with a K instead of a C, and an H on the end. Most famously about this name, of course, is that it was created by none other than William Shakespeare. This is a name completely of Shakespeare's concoction, how incredible is that? Unsurprisingly, Shakespeare was a master of language, and so many words we still use to this day were created by the Bard. Lonely, lacklustre, critic, and dwindle were all words created by Shakespeare. And of course he created the name Jessica too, but that wasn't the only name he created. It's reported he invented the name Olivia too. So that's just incredible. These two hugely popular names, both invented by this one dude. However, we aren't 100% sure he invented them, but what we do know for sure is that the earliest known sources of them written in the modern way they're written today is from Shakespeare. How did my life get to the point where I'm talking about Shakespeare while I wear a shark on my head? Shakespeare used the name Jessica in his play The Merchant of Venice. However, Shakespeare didn't just pull this name out of thin air, it's thought he adapted the name from the already established Hebrew name of Ishka. And huge apologies if I did mispronounce that, I couldn't find any sources of anyone saying it aloud anywhere on the internet, so just huge apologies on that, let me know how poorly I said it down in the comments below. However, in Shakespeare's day, it's thought this name had already been adapted to the name of Jessica, so he really didn't have to do too much to turn Jessica into Jessica. And this original name that Jessica is thought to come from simply means God beholds. But why did Shakespeare choose this name to adapt into a new name out of any name? Well, we don't really know 100% for sure. Ishka was of course a Hebrew name and Jessica the character in the play was Jewish so it kind of makes sense to use a Hebrew name. However, if there's any deeper meaning as to why this character should have this name, if there's something to do with her God beholding or anything like that, I don't know. Um, I didn't study The Merchant of Venice when I was in school studying Shakespeare, and I'm not really prepared to go deep into it now for this little video on YouTube. However, if you do know more about this play, let us know down below. Though nevertheless, through Shakespeare's invention, it's been a hugely popular name, one of the most popular names in the English-speaking world. Currently in the US, it's the 312th most popular name, but in the past, for about the 70s and 90s, it was in its absolute peak. Like, this name was always in the top 10 or so. And in fact, in the USA between 1981 and 1997, it was either the first or second most popular girl's name. And here in the UK, it was the 25th most popular name in 2018, so still pretty darn popular over here as well. And famous Jessicas, of course, include the likes of Jessica Simpson, Jessica Alba, and Jessica Ennis Hill, the former Olympian. Or is she still an Olympian? Is the Olympics even a thing anymore? I don't know. And for a wrestler, we have Jessica Havoc, who I don't really know much of her work, but she seems pretty darn cool, that's for sure. Anyway, that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Jessica, but what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Jessica? Are you called Jessica yourself? Let me know down below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thoughts you guys had on last week's name of Idris. Hotstepper89 said, Idris pronounced as you did in this vid is a verb in Arabic and it means to study, whereas the noun version is pronounced as Idris is a name is one of the prophets mentioned in the Quran and the Bible. I believe his name got translated into Enoch in English. So thank you very much Hotstep for uh, mentioning that to me. I like to know when I mispronounce stuff as I mentioned in this video. Right, yeah, thank you for adding this extra information about the name Idris for everyone to read. Matthew Odjok said, when I hear the name Idris, I actually think about the doctor's wife, the TARDIS, but hey, just my logic. How did I not remember that? I love Doctor Who, especially Matt Smith's hero of Doctor Who. And of course the TARDIS, when it was his wife, was known as Idris. That's Really dumb when you thought I mentioned that. I feel quite silly now, but thank you very much for reminding us all there. And Idris Mansrawala, apologies if I mispronounced that, said, Finally, the name Idris getting some recognition. Hells yeah, like that's really cool. I always love when people with the name talk about having the name in the comments. And they go, an actual Idris 
on my video about the name Idris. How rad is that? Next week, we'll be looking to a name starting with the letter K. And what name that will be exactly will be chosen on a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. So if you enjoy the channel, want to help support it, and have a say in what names get explained, then please do consider donating on Patreon. Thank you so much for the $600 a month on Patreon. This wouldn't be happening if that wasn't the case. I'm going to take that off now, I think. So anyway, that's just about everything for now. Until next time, guys, take care.